Hey guys, Julie here, and in this video, I am taking you through a thrifting journey that's, of course, art related. In my past videos, you probably heard me talk about thrifting for art supplies a few times. Uh, well, this is finally the series, which so far consists of two videos that involve me shopping for vintage art supplies as well as creating an actual piece with the supplies that I found at different thrift stores. So what inspired this whole journey was that about a month ago, I came across some Soviet watercolors being sold on Etsy, and yes, you heard that right. <laughs> So art supplies created during the time of the USSR, that's apparently a thing on Etsy. They really piqued my interest and they made me consider that there are so many art supplies out there that you can no longer find. Items with sentimental value and history that you don't even know about. Maybe the paint set that you found was just sitting in some drawer for the past 40 years. Or maybe it lived a really interesting life and fulfilled its purpose by being used to create so many amazing pieces. But something about that mystery and using your imagination to fill in the gaps is just so engaging. In my opinion, it adds depth to these supplies and the pieces you create with them. So my vintage art supply hunt commenced. Over Christmas break, I visited a total of 13 thrift stores and counting. This included five value villages, two Salvation Armies, and six other small thrift shops that were mostly run by volunteers. My first stop was a Salvation Army, and here I didn't find any vintage art supplies, but I did find a pack of 60 brand new touch markers. I was really tempted to pick them up, but uh, about a year ago, I actually found some Uhuhus from Value Village, and I was so excited to see them there that I just bought them, even though I have a ton, probably over 200 alcohol markers at home. So I never ended up touching them, and I just gave them to a friend. So I knew that if I bought these markers, they would just sit in my room, and I'd probably end up giving them away. Also, I just imagined some broke student coming into Salvation Army and coming across them and getting so excited that they found a set of super budget alcohol markers. So, you know, I wanted to save those for someone who didn't have them already. I also came across picture frames. A lot of picture frames. And for those of you who don't know, I'm actually in the process of rearranging my art space right now. So I figured that framing some of my art and having a wall full of unique frames would be just a nice and interesting touch. And I can confidently say that after visiting so many thrift stores, I will never buy a brand new picture frame again. There are so many unique frames to choose from at different thrift stores. So many. That was probably the one constant. Whether it was a tiny little thrift store or a massive value village, you could find so many amazing picture frames. So maybe I deviated slightly from my mission during my first trip, but the second trip was a lot more successful. Now I didn't record every single stop, otherwise this video would be like an hour long, but this footage here was taken at thrift store number six, which was a value village. Here I found a couple of items, but after so many other trips leaving empty handed, I was just excited to come across anything remotely unique. So I walked out with a few items, specifically HB pencils that were made in China, which I know everything's made in China, but these pencils were specifically advertised as being made in the People's Republic of China. So I thought they were pretty cool, but after a few more trips, these pencils were probably the least exciting items I found. Hey guys, we're back and uh, I'm using my nice little green camera again. We are reunited. Um, and I only ended up grabbing two of the items that I picked. So whew, I, I went a little crazy. Any sort of art supply, I just threw it in the basket. Anything that looked interesting or unfamiliar. And then I sifted through everything and I figured out what I wanted to keep. Um, and I ended up spending a total of $6.70. And of course I used my coupon. So, 
Something you should know about me, I'm a bit of a germaphobe. So every time I go thrifting, even pre-COVID, oh, I would just feel disgusting after. And it's just the idea of like, I don't know, everyone touching all the stuff and you don't know where it came from. Um, so it took a while for me to really fall in love with not necessarily the act of thrifting, but finding some really cool items, mostly clothing items um, and sometimes books, but I never really thought to look for art supplies. So uh, this is something that I guess I'll have to get used to. This is when I decided to regroup. What was the point of this mission? Was I building a collection or looking for items that I could actually use? So it was time to set a few ground rules. Rule number one, no more empty picture frames. This has probably been the most difficult rule to stick with. <laughs> rule number two, only buy vintage art supplies that I could see myself using. And rule number three, which is more of an exception, antique items. So anything that looks old, like really old, like 80 years or more old, are fair game. So if I ever found some 80 year old crayons that I probably wouldn't use because I haven't touched crayons in a really long time, then it's okay to pick it up because let's face it, that would be a pretty sick find. Like, can you imagine finding some OG Crayola crayons in their original packaging? <laughs> Look what I found guys, colored pencils and they haven't been used. That's pretty cool. I'll probably do a voiceover over this anyways. <laughs> there were a few items that I came across at nearly every single thrift store. First off, Crayola products, colored pencils, felts, and crayons. I also found a lot of character pencils, like Disney characters, anime characters, a lot of Hello Kitty, and even some Barbie pencils. And then there were the damn geometry sets, the ones in the metal tins. My sister and I kept thinking they were watercolors, so every time I saw one, I'd get excited and then I'd flip it over and I would see that it was just a math set and I would be so disappointed. Also, I don't get why these sets are always on school supply list. Like, I only ever recall using the mini ruler. So I walked out with these 101 Dalmatian crayons, <laughs> but what I was really gunning for are these oil pastels because they look pretty vintage. I'm not sure if they are, but they're by the Talons brand. So this is the brand that creates the um, current Van Gogh line. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. There's no information on it, but I'll open it up when I get home and yeah, we'll see what this is all about. So that's exciting. And we're just gonna hit up one more thrift store. And this is thrift store number three and the location surprised me. I thought it would be at the heart of all the shops, but I guess this is a church. Um, yeah, because a lot of thrift stores are tied to churches. So we'll see. I don't really see anything that <laughs> looks like a thrift store, um, but I guess we can have a look around. So apparently the thrift store is underneath the church. <laughs> so I guess I'm going into some kind of dungeon. <laughs> oh, down there. Okay, I see it. This building's so cool. Like, I've never been here before. Okay, let's see what they have. Um, I'm probably not gonna film down here just because it will, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be a little awkward, but we'll see. So this is a summary of my thrifting adventures. My next video is gonna show a, a haul of everything that I picked up and also swatches of my thrifty finds. And I will do my best to pair that with a video of actually using the supplies in an art piece, but we'll see how long the video gets. I might have to make that a third video, but I'm really gonna try to latch it onto the second. Overall, this was a pretty interesting journey. It definitely kept me busy while I was off of work for two weeks. Hey guys. So I ended up empty handed, but that's totally fine. Um, <laughs> 
So by the time I post this, um, my video on my no buy year will probably already be out. So if that's the case, then I'll link it down below. If not, then stay tuned. Um, basically, my sister and I, I convinced her to join me, are trying out a no spend year um, where you don't buy any anything that's uh, your non-essentials. And the idea of a non-essential could vary per person. So we have some rules set, no new clothes, no makeup, no new art supplies. That's a huge one, unless I'm replacing something that I've already used. Um, my exception to the rule is vintage art supplies. So I'm keeping that on the list just because it, I, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. And this could just be a phase. But as of this moment, it gives me such a wonderful thrill. And it's not like every time I go out, I'm gonna come out with something, you know? Like I've been to, this is my 11th trip to the thrift store. And so far I've only come out with a small handful of things and all of those items were like a couple dollars. So it's no big deal. It's not like walking into Michael's where you're tempted by everything. I'm looking for specific items and a lot of the times I don't find anything. So I'm I'm gonna keep that up this year. I It's really fun, it's really exciting. It's just the thrill of the hunt, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, but yeah, everything else. No more picture frames, which whenever I go thrifting, I see really unique picture frames and I really want to grab them for my room, but no more, no more home decor, like, oh. So walking in there and just, of course I walked by the picture frames and I didn't even realize I was walking into that section. I was just trying to avoid people and that, uh, that section was empty and by the time I was halfway through, I was like, oh my God, the picture frames. and. I was so tempted, I was so tempted to buy some. And I'll, I'll insert clips here of uh, some of the frames that I saw that were super cool and unique. Um, but yeah, I had to resist that temptation. So that was a tough one. Uh, there were some just random paintings that I found really beautiful. And I'm like, oh, I want those for my room. And then I saw this vintage looking M&M lunchbox. It was a tin lunchbox. And I was like, oh, this looks so cool. <laughs> Just, like, I don't even like M&Ms. And like, why do I need a lunchbox, you know? I have a Legend of Korra lunchbox that was gifted to me. And like, I love it. And that's the only thing I'll ever need. So why, why, I don't know. Anyways. This is proving to be a little bit stressful, but I think the key is avoiding the aisles you know you'd get distracted in. So next time I go thrifting, I'm not even gonna look at the picture frames, not even gonna go near them, uh, not even gonna go into any ladies section, or actually I shop a lot in the men's section at Value Village, so I just have to be strategic. Maybe I should, I don't know, maybe I'll only go through like houseware. <laughs> and bed sheets and then the kids section I, I have to plan my route so that I'm not tempted um, but yeah this trip was a bust but I am planning to go thrifting a couple more times this week so we'll see if I end up with anything uh, fingers crossed I really hope I do if not then something will come up eventually so we'll see and now I've discovered so many thrift stores um, that I can pick my favorites and I can choose to visit those maybe once a month just to see what they have. Anyways, until next time, stay creative, stay healthy, peace. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it inspired you to check out your local thrift store and see what kind of neat little trinkets and art supplies you can find. If you come across anything interesting, then please let me know in the comments. If you have any information about the supplies that I showed in this video, then let me know in the comments because it's actually really difficult to find information on a lot of these old materials. In a lot of cases, I couldn't even figure out which year they were from. So if you have any insight at all, please, please share in the comments below. Oh,
until further notice.